again. This is the last part of our small tutorial. It is devoted to KSP, which stands for Cradle of Subspace Solvers or Solvers for uh, Linear Systems. We now have already assembled our system matrix and our uh, solution and right-hand side vector and we can now just solve the system by KSP. For this case, Etsy has uh, this KSP class. Uh, you can create the new instance of the solver using KSP create, set the type using KSP set type, set the properties of the solver using KSP set from options, and if it is not needed anymore, you can destroy it by KSP destroy. The type of the iterative solver can be, for example, KSP CG for conjugate gradients. How to solve the linear system? Let's say you have matrix A, vector B and X. You have initialized it in your previous code. Now you can uh, inject the A matrix to the solver using KSP set operators. And after that, you solve the system using KSP solve, where you specify your right hand side and the solution vector. You can notice that KSP set operators has two matrix arguments. The first, the red one, defines the linear system, whereas the second matrix, which is blue in our case, is used for construction of the preconditioner. So generally, they don't have to be the same, but in most cases it will be. You can also modify the default tolerances of KSP using KSP set tolerances. You define your stopping criteria like this. Each of these arguments can be also set to Petsy default, which stands for some reasonable Petsy default, like uh, for example, in case of maximum number of iterations, it is 10,000. If you are calling KSP set from options, you can also set these tolerances from command line using these options. Petsy also has uh, many different preconditioners that can be used together with KSP. Preconditioners are abstracted by class PC. There are preconditioners like incomplete LU factorization, block Jacobi, and uh, the preconditioner is specified like this. You automatically, in your KSP object, have an instance of preconditioner. So you get it using KSP get PC. Then you can do what you want with the preconditioner. Typically, set the type. In this case, I have chosen incomplete LU factorization. How to use direct solvers in uh, Petsy? The design of uh, KSP looks like that. Direct solvers are special case of iterative solvers. You have just one iteration with application of, let's say, perfect preconditioner, uh, which is forward and backward substitution of complete factor. So practically, you set the KSP type to KSP pre only, and you set the PC type to PCLU or PC Cholesky. It's now time to see it in action, so wait a moment. In this example, I will show you how to solve a linear system from the previous example. Again, I will compile and step through the source code. The first part, the system assembly code, is exactly the same as in the previous example.
So I will jump directly to the linear system solution. Our computed approximate solution will be stored to VEC X, which is obtained by duplicating VEC U. We create the KSP object, which will solve our linear system. Set the system operator to A. And set the default relative tolerance. Our relative tolerance depends on the problem's dimension. It can be overridden with command line option dash ksp underscore rtol thanks to ksp set from options. We will try it later. You can view details of the ksp object with ksp view. To solve the system, call KSP solve to our KSP with right hand side and solution vectors as arguments. Let's check X. It looks like this. We can check the norm of an error by subtracting the exact solution from the approximate solution like this. Here is our error. To get the iteration count, call KSP get iteration number, which is in our case 5. I would like to mention that you can watch the residual norm of each iteration by using dash ksp underscore monitor. As I said, you can control the stopping criteria from command line if you call KSP set from options. For example, you can change the relative tolerance with dash KSP underscore RTOL. Notice that the iteration count slightly changed. Or change the maximum number of iterations with dash ksp underscore max underscore it. Let's say four. Now the iteration count is limited to four. Okay, so that's the end of my presentation. If you have some questions, yeah. Is multigrid implemented in Petsy? Yeah, it's the case. It is, in fact, a special, special case of preconditioner in Petsy. And you can also use some external packages, for example, Torinos ML or Boomerang. Thank you. Is that all? If it is the case, 
thank you once again for attention and see you sometime.